Enable Silhouette P9 was all about industrialising an idea. So it's taking something from paper form into reality. Enables is a special project. It's novel technology that uh, embeds electrical harnesses within a composite raft structure, reducing the number of parts around the outside of an engine. It's part of a number of technologies that Rolls-Royce are developing, but Enables in itself really uh, gives us a number of benefits. So in terms of part count reduction, uh, less time for engine build, strip and overhaul, and it also gives us a weight reduction as well. So there are many different stakeholders on this project, mainly the SME of BF1 Systems. Initially, our involvement was mainly in some of the um, sub-projects. That expanded later on into um, a wider role of assisting Rolls-Royce, mainly with the um, industrialisation processes. We were also able to utilise the Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre in Rotherham, who helped us with our machining and measurement strategies, and National Composite Centre, who were able to provide us with knowledge and capability around our processes and it was able to provide our operations team with training. We were able to simulate the manufacturing process of the rafts. In doing so, our operators were getting first-hand knowledge of how to manufacture a raft rather than just classroom-based training. We were also able to utilise the MTC, so the Manufacturing Technology Centre in Coventry, to be able to look at factory simulation. The biggest success of the project from our perspective is um, the accreditation we've achieved on our manufacturing facility. So we are now AS R100 approved, uh, which means we can manufacture certain components for aerospace. It allowed us to break down our process into manageable steps so we could understand the manufacturing capability and then bring it all back together to produce a full raft or many full rafts so that we were able to understand the full rate readiness program. All of this has resulted in a new UK-based dedicated facility where we've been able to employ up to 30 people. We recruited four or five people in the area of quality and process and manufacturing engineering. Um, this was on top of our team of designers who picked up a lot of new skills in the, you know, the more the manufacturing side of what they're designing. Our production, our composite production people um, were involved in a lot of retraining and also we had um, formal training of the actual production process. We've been able to give retraining in advanced manufacturing techniques. We've been able to transfer existing skills into the facility but also given people the opportunity to learn new skills which are then transferable into other areas of the business. As we move forward through the programme and our rate increases, we will need to recruit many more people into this role to help us meet future demand. The impact on BF1 is, is a change in the, the culture and the way in which we manufacture composite products. In motorsport, quality is important, absolutely, but so is speed and, and, and getting it done, getting it done quickly. And the aerospace industry is very different, it's a longer program, and it has to fulfil certain requirements, and we now understand those requirements. The impact on the business has been that we've been able to refurbish an existing facility. It's also allowed us to increase our composites knowledge as a business and it's also strengthened the case for a composite hub in the southwest. It's enabled us to use uh, partners around the UK. We've utilised some of the skills in those areas to develop the capability uh, in a quite a quick pace for a technology development programme. 